one of the phenomena of these big, big earthquakes is tsunamis. Uh, they literally rip the seafloor apart, sending a 30 to 50 foot wall of water basically crashing into coastal communities. Uh, a lot of people ask, well, what's going to happen with this tsunami? Is it going to travel up the Columbia River? Well, probably not. The Columbia River is pushing about 250,000 cubic feet per second of water out into the ocean. So the tsunami and the Columbia kind of cancel each other out. But there's a certain phenomenon called a siege. When you get a bathtub sloshing, water in the bathtub sloshing back and forth, that's a little tiny mini siege. And the same thing can happen on large bodies of water. If you've got these long rolling earthquake waves and they're impacting a large body of water, the large body of water liter literally wants to begin moving with these long rolling earthquake waves, literally dancing along with the earthquake waves. So what can happen is now the water, this huge body of water like the Columbia River, is sloshing back and forth, or the Willamette. And now the water is sloshing back and forth so much that it's throwing literally, you know, 20, 30 foot waves up onto the shore. So damage can happen that way as well. It doesn't have to necessarily be a tsunami. This can even happen in, uh, with swimming pools. So imagine North Clackamas Aquatic Center and how big those pools are there. That would be something to see.